calm down his spotter. Oh, my gosh. Listen, you don't think everybody on this team gets emotionally involved in everything that goes on out there? Absolutely, man. A lot on the line for every one right. of these guys. I want to see what from the third <laughs> row do either of them push somebody into a position to jump out and take the lead. Mike, I'd watch that two-car, Brad yeah. Keselowski in fourth. This is where this race was won in overtime a year ago. Kurt Busch restarted in the outside of row two and four. Yeah, I don't think from the fifth position or sixth position you can win it, but from this kick start and kind of fakes Kevin Harvick, he could easily be three wide as they go into turn one. All right, Daniel Suarez got the free pass. 26 lead lap cars. Here we go. That's going to be Cole Custer to the outside of Brad Keselowski, putting him three wide. He got a push from Matt Benedetto. In the upper groove, here comes Kevin Harvick back to the outside. Our leader, Mark, or, uh, Martin Truex Jr. Look at the run oh, that Custer they, has. They touch. Here comes Custer. He had a big run down the back, down the straightaway. How did Mark Truex Jr. get to the outside of the four car? Here comes Blady to the inside, three wide. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Next flag ends it. They're banging up one another. Custer to the lead. Oh, heavy tire rub on the four car, Kevin Harvick. A rookie is going to win Kentucky. Can you believe it? I never would have believed it till now, Mike. Custer, Truex, DiBenedetto, Harvick, Blaney. Wow. Off the final turn. Rookie Cole Custer wins Kentucky. Can you believe it? Incredible. Incredible. That last restart, I can't wait to go back and watch this. That's going to put Cole Custer in the all-star day. That is all but unbelievable. You saw the stat a moment ago. Eric Jones, sixth place finish, the only time. On that, and that eight car is always high. So it's good. He is going to be going for it. Back into the gas they go. Austin Dillon, a great launch there. Exactly what Austin Dillon needed. Big run by the eight on the outside. He had a good shove from the 18. Down the back stretch they go. The 18 moving ahead, trying to take third from Joey. Austin Dillon. Trying to get to that white flag. One more time around. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. That 22 and 18 side by side. That's the best thing that can happen. No momentum comes up from that eight. From that eight. He wants to take away the draft from the rest of the crew. From everybody behind him. His son, Ace Bourne, about a month ago, he'll be cheering. He's going to win in Texas. Austin Dillon gets the win. Work so hard. These team members work so hard. Richard Childress. Way to go, Austin. Man, I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Richard Childress, Austin Dillon's grandfather, put his everything into his race team. Huge day. Really, what what the deal for Hamlin right now is just don't make just like right now be good don't have to be great even if you give up two tenths of a second in two laps you're going to be okay you just don't want to give up two tenths of a second every lap for the next three laps because he's only ahead by six tenths <laughs>
Make him pass you, though, Rick. Right, that's what I'd be telling Denny Hamlin right here if I'm Chris Gavehart. Buddy, this is your race. I need three miles. A little extra space off the wall. Don't give him the lead. Make him... This guy has won a ton of races. So many have said last year was Denny Hamlin's greatest year. He wasn't able to win the championship. Denny said that his loss at Indy earlier might have been bigger than losing the championship. With one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank, Denny Hamlin in position to win his fifth race of 2020. The gap still a half a second between first and second. Denny Hamlin successes this year. Another Daytona 500 win. He says one of the biggest things he wants to do this year is be able to celebrate with his crew because he knows that's who's getting him up front, giving him fast cars. They've done it again. He's done it again. Kansas winner, Denny Hamlin. Ash, what a dream, man. This race team is such a dream. Congrats, Denny Hamlin. Congrats, everybody. Thank you. Guys, way to go. Needed to bounce back. Burn it down. Go get you. Start finish. Can do it. Clears him into the top ten. And two laps to go for Keslowski. Jimmy Johnson tight. Little crossover. Oh. Yeah, William Byron behind him is going to try to go with Reddick, trying to jump on the outside of Jimmy Johnson. And here's Ryan Priest trying to get up there for a top ten opportunity. Yeah, those four cars all fighting for that top ten spot. Great race in today. Yeah. This track has been amazing. Brad Keselowski coming out of turn number four. One lap to go. Present. Have enough fuel. Brad Keselowski. It has been the Brad and Denny show today. Keselowski has led 108. His 184th lap through three and four for the final time. And this will be career win number 33 for Brad Keselowski. He's a win at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Bad for Jeremy, thank you. Sliding out of four, Harvick. for 10th. We even got by Jimmy Johnson late. How about Tyler Reddick? 10th position. That third win for Brad Keselowski ties Fireball Roberts for 24th on the all-time wins list. I think anytime you can tie